You might hear Fukushima and immediately think of the nuclear disaster, but it's not just known for that. There's also many beautiful tourist spots to check out. Today, we're heading to the samurai town of Aizu Wakamatsu. The goal? Explore some of the famous historical spots and eat two local specialities, all whilst doing our best to stay warm. First up is lunch, where we'll give the area's traditional lunch box a go. Food has arrived. I got crab, which is the winter seasonal special, and I got salmon. It looks really, really good. Let's taste it. Mm. Mm. It's got lots of little like sesame seeds on top, so it's really crunchy as well. It's good. Can I try your crab one? Oh, only a little bit. <laughs> But some of them are not too um not too seafoody, you know. So it's like really good, just a really nice mild flavour. <laughs> Do you wanna dig in? Mm. <laughs> okay. Mm. How is it? Mm. Are you happy you went with the seasonal special? Mm. Yeah, like you said, it's not really fishy at all. No, mm. that's quite nice. Mm. This style of food is called wappa meshi. Wappa is the round wooden container that woodsmen used as a lunchbox when they went to work. The menu is all in Japanese, but if you don't mind not knowing the exact ingredients, there's a lot of pictures to help you order. Alright, we finished lunch. It was quite delicious. Very homey meal. What would you rate it out of 10, boy? Oh my gosh, where are you? There you are. Eight? Rating? Out of ten? Hi. I don't know. Maybe like an eight or a nine. It was good. Yeah, it was quite good. Good for a uh, winter day, I think. Anyways, next in this samurai town, the next stop is the castle. Probably one of the main events. So, let's go. Water. There is no water. It's frozen solid. Ooh, look at the castle. It's beautiful. Tsurugu Castle was one of the last samurai strongholds in the 1800s when Japan formed a new government and opened up to the rest of the world. It's famous for withstanding a month long siege, but ultimately it fell. And so did Japan's feudal era. For 500 yen, you can visit the museum inside and see the breathtaking views from the top. We're on top of the castle and look, this view is amazing. It's really so beautiful. I've heard as well, I've seen pictures that in springtime all of the cherry blossoms are out and it's very beautiful, but I think it's just as beautiful in winter time. As you can see, we're back down at the bottom now. Yeah, if you just come for the view at the top of the castle, even that is worth it, I think. It's really beautiful. Like most castles in Japan, this one was actually rebuilt in the 1960s because um, during the Meiji Restoration, a lot of castles got pulled down. So it's not the original, but it's still a really good place to come and have a look at. And with that, it was finally time to stop freezing our butts off and get warm for the night. Just east of the town is a hot springs area called Higashiyama Onsen with some beautiful traditional inns. We weren't that fancy on this trip, so we just went with a standard hotel and cup ramen for dinner. Good morning, it's the next day. It is really, really snowy today. We're gonna try and go to a really cool temple. I won't say too much about it because we'll see it soon, but we've gotta try and get there first. And it seems like most of the buses are kind of late, not running, it's snowing a lot. Minus five degrees. <laughs> Let's see if we get there. Rent cars. <laughs> Public transport is so unreliable. And we're waiting outside in this. Do you, do you want to show them this? Mm. 
It's minus five for God's sakes. It's freezing. <laughs> yeah, rent car. In fairness to Aizu Wakamatsu, the bus system was actually not too bad. For 600 yen, you can get a one day ticket and take as many trips as you like around the sites. And in the end, we got to our destination, Sazayado Temple, a super rare building with a double helix staircase. The only issue was it was winter and the path and stairs there were pretty dodgy. Oh, that's what it says in Japanese. What does it say? That's exactly what it says. It says, hey, look, we're having so much fun, you filthy, sweaty plebs. <laughs> Wow. Trust me, I know. I took N3 <laughs> and failed. <laughs> oh, we didn't know that yet. <laughs> Potentially failed. <laughs> Isn't it? I'm gonna need two hands for this. I guess we go this way. Oh, maybe it's down over there where that eight is. I think so. Oh. But first we have to survive the staircase. Yeah, we came too high up. This is dangerous. Let's get it. Oh, this is so scary. <laughs> oh dear. Have you given up? I think so. Okay. My turn. Oh god, it's so slippery. My glasses are fogging up. I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Alright. <laughs> Where to now? This way. Okay. <laughs> we made it. Wow, look at it. I'm looking. It's amazing. Mm. Shall we go inside? Yes. The smell of incense is lovely. Oh wow. This is cool. Mm. You know, I've always wondered when you go to shrines and stuff, mm. what all these kind of, I don't know, sticker stamp things are. If anyone actually knows what they are or what they mean, like let us know in the comments below because I've been wondering this for a very long time. It's like as we are going up this way, the ceiling is being used as a path going down that way. Pretty cool, right? That's what makes this building so unique. So you can see at the top that there's a little bridge here and the path coming up. You go up the bridge, which turns into the path going down, which spirals around at the same time. Very cool. Very cold too. <laughs> <laughs> so we came in the front entrance and we popped out at the back somehow. It's like a little maze. What does it say? I think it says something cave. I give you the world like I promised I would. Even though you wouldn't do the same. One of our favorite parts of coming to these different small towns is getting the local sweets. 
old delicacies. This one is the meibutsu or the special of the town. I don't know what it, what's in it. We'll see. <laughs> but we got a whole like omiyage set, and the lady gave us a sabusu, a special one, just because. Let's try. Mm. Uncle. Mm. Mm. Interesting. I don't know what the yellow stuff is on the outside, but it's nice. And with that, we tick off our final goal for Aizu Wakamatsu, and it's time to put our frozen bodies in an onsen. If you're interested in any of the places we went, check out the description below, and hit subscribe for more beautiful spots around Japan. See you in the next one.